David, what do we have here? This is a sample of um, a PVC sewer pipe that we had to renew a section of uh, because it was damaged by the roots from a very large fig tree, uh, which was a street tree out the front of this home. So what was the damage that was caused to this particular pipe? Well, the pipeline is only 10 years old and um, people rang with a block drain and the, um, we put a camera down the pipe to find out why the drain was blocked and found that the pipe had been crushed from the underside up because this large tree root that you can see had actually grown through the tilled soil where the pipes had been laid and grown to the size of this, this root is probably about the size of the lower half of a man's leg, and push the pipes up, put a belly in the pipes, and in some cases along this length of pipe, it actually crushed the pipe. So um, the clients were in a state of shock when they found out that their new pipes that were only 10 years old um, had been crushed by the street tree because they thought that PVC pipes were impenetrable by tree roots and this is a perfect example of the trees are going to do whatever it is that they want to do when they're, when they're good and ready. The classic case about this tree root is that we cut, you can see that this root is newer, you can see that the, the sap is still in there whereas this section of root is older. It's been a, it, it actually got cut out in July last year. So if you can imagine, this length of pipe was buried uh, down the side of this um, large house and with a large tree out the front. And this was the, the site of the original problem, which is where we hacked the hole in the pipe to find out what was going on. So we cut out this section from here. We exposed the pipe and this section of the pipe and cut the roots here and you can see, well that's the cut and, and obviously up there and that was in July of 2009 and we went back there just last week which is April 2010 to move on to the next stage of the repair and the interesting thing about this was where we cut the section of roots so the tree is up that, the tree is up that way and we cut the, we cut the roots here back in um, July 09 and here we are eight or nine months later the roots have reshot and they are going to make their way back under the ground so there's no stopping the tree roots. Um, this downstream section surprised me even more because I thought as it had been cut off from the tree then this would be dead or dying as well but it was very very healthy and there were new shoots growing out off this section of roots so if I turn it over you can see that there are new roots and shoots starting to grow off there. This has been out of the ground for a week now um, so it's starting to dry out a little bit but it's a very very powerful demonstration of um, even though you cut the roots that um, they're just going to keep growing. This is an exceptional case, very powerful case actually. So, the power of the tree, they just keep coming and it's like the tide, you're not going to stop it, it's just going to do whatever it wants to do. So, so it's very important to discourage the tree root regrowth with something as simple as vapor rooter. This could still happen, but vapor, vapor rooter will make the ground uh, less interesting for the roots of the trees.